Before we start the video, I just want to announce about my new initiative for the Seahorse Trust. I'm designing Seahorse merch, mainly t-shirts and hoodies. First one was No Bright Lights Please, which has sold quite successfully to date. And now I've decided to contact designers around the world and see if they'll do limited edition designs for the Seahorse Trust. The first is by Justin Carmack, AKA Critter Hunter of YouTube fame. Check out his channel and he's designed this shirt for us now. It's limited to a hundred items. So there's only t-shirts or hoodies. So once we've sold a hundred, that design is no longer available. And that explains why it's slightly higher priced than the other items. So please help me support the Seahorse Trust and buy some merch. Now let's get into it. Hi everyone, welcome to my GoPro and Paralens journey. Well, recently it's been um, my Paralens Vaquita journey because there's just been so much to report on. Yeah, I'm, I'm continuing. I've still not fallen out of love with it, but I've not fallen in love with it yet, if you know what I mean. I've just come back from a trip in the Maldives and uh, as I'll tell you later, it was a pain in the butt. But anyway, the purpose of this video is just before I went to the Maldives, a new firmware update was released, 2105, 21505, and they said battery life had been improved. So I did a quick test at 1080, 60, and got one hour, 16, as opposed to two hours, which was abysmal. But I got some comments, mainly the main comment from Bahanadine Montaza, a very loyal follower of the channel, who said, can you test at the other resolutions of frame rates? Um, that they've published so here it is we did that it's taken me a few days they've just this week put another firmware update that does annoy me because they don't tell you on, on by mail they're very good at sending bombarding you with mails to buy the stuff they're not very good at, at sending you mails when when they change things but look, thankfully they say battery life hasn't changed with the new firmware update we'll talk about that in a minute I hope they've fixed a couple of the issues. But first, let's get into the, the battery life and you'll see a footage of the new marina where we finally found some fish and then we'll talk about some other issues that I, after this trip I wasn't particularly happy with. So let's start at 720 at 30 frames per second. This is a new resolution, absolutely no reason for it except they can now claim they get three hours of the battery life. I mean, that is... I'm sorry, that's beneath the belt, below the table. Um, unethical marketing, call it what you like. But our test showed you got three hours and 40 minutes. They say they get three hours. At 1080, 30, we got two hours, 25, which was virtually identical to their two hours and 20. 1080, 60, you've already seen that result. That's where I like to film because we can handle post-production easier. YouTube's okay with 1080. Although on the next trip, we are going to start going to 4K, especially when you go to places like Maldives, 4K will give us much better resolution. And I think also in the Gulf. So you know, as, as you all know, this is a journey I'm learning. 1080, 60 was easy for us to get editing and all of that. So now we're going to make the transition to 4K. Um, at 2.7K, 30 frames per second, um, they claim two hours, 20 minutes. We got two hours and two. As you start to get higher resolution, performance is, is not as stated. 4K 30 frames per second, one hour 44, that's what we got, as opposed to stated of two hours and 10 minutes. And at 4K 60, which is where I'm gonna go, you get an hour. We got an hour and a minute, they say you get an hour. That is not good enough. You know, in my last Maldives trip, on 1080 60, I wasn't getting enough battery life. I was having to charge between dives. Um, that's risky because you're not going to seal your O-rings every time. One dive I forgot the end cap and I couldn't take any footage. Luckily, well unluckily, it wasn't good because I didn't have GoPro backup that day. It was on the first day. I thought, no, I'll just use the parallels. Boom. Luckily, one of the, my fellow divers gave me some footage. Let's talk about the new firmware, which I've not upgraded to yet. I'm going away again. I'm going on another liverboard trip in the ball dives. You might think I just spend my life but I've been cooped up for 18 months. There's some great deals on liverboards and I'm taking advantage of them because once lockdown is over, the prices will go up and they'll be fully booked. I dive on a budget and once the market's back for the liverboards, I'll be off to places like the Philippines and that, and banker and, and shore diving. So I'm taking full advantage of amazing rates. On a bucket list trip, going from the south, who knew where I, I jumped off before, 
up to Marling. So in about three weeks time, you'll start seeing those videos coming through. I'm uploading at the moment videos from the previous trip. So we've got the new firmware, 21.10, 31, 950. And as I say, I'll be trying it. What have they, what have they done? They said they've got video quality improvements again. Um, I didn't notice, they said that in the last upgrade, I didn't notice any quality improvements, to be honest. Um, fixed garbled overlay graphics. Again, we, I had the, I had the overlay on all the time. We didn't see any garbled graphics, and they disabled the um, overlay in 4K 60 frames per second. Oh, you know, this is not a camera by divers for divers, or it's definitely not a camera by divers for divers who take video. And they say, please note, battery life still says the same as below. Well, you know me, I'm going to test it. Unfortunately. It's going to be a couple of weeks before I can do those tests again with the new uh, firmware. So please stay tuned. We will test it across the range. That kind of takes me nearly a week because I can do one test a day. But we'll see. One thing that really, really, yeah, I'm going to say it pissed me off. Yeah, annoyed me. Is that the Paralens at the last firmware update for me became unresponsive. It takes longer to switch on. And then when you're underwater in video mode, um, you can't run the camera all the time because it will just run out of battery and when you go to switch it on it doesn't switch on like it used to you actually have to remember to hold it and it seems like an age because if you've got a manta ray or a shark coming through you're going to miss it by the time the, the camera um, before the before it switches on you've got the camera switched on this is just engaging the video right so i hope in this new firmware update that has been resolved and I will report back on that on, on the first video that I do from the small knife trips now. So thanks for watching, I appreciate all the viewers, please give me a like if you can and please get some of your friends to subscribe. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm nearly, well I might, hopefully I might even be past 1000 by the time you see this. But anyway, keep on subscribing, keep on liking and I'll see you next time.